Hello, this is Fred, uh, Ted's illegitimate cousin. I just came over to talk to John about the complaints of John and Ted's overuse of, what shall we say, salty language? Yeah. So I've turned to etymology, the study of word origins and their meanings. For instance, the derivation of your favorite four-letter word is not fornicate under command of the king. That turned out to be a bunch of prevarication horsebucky. It's from a German or Swiss word. Leave it to the Germans to come up with a cool word for poking something. Yeah. And obviously the Swiss know all about holes. I think the Swiss invented holes. There was this caveman who said, Hey, come over here and look at my wheel. And this other Swiss caveman says, That's nothing. Come over here and look at my hole. Guess who got the biggest crowd? So I think you should alternate between fornicate and copulate. Fornicate you! Or what the copulate was that? But I digress. Now the origin of diarrhea. Did you know there are seven kinds of diarrhea? What is this with the number seven? Seven kinds of diarrhea? Seven days in the week? Seven words you can't say on television? Seven deadly sins? Seven brides for seven brothers? Some of that I stole from the movie Bedazzled. Steal from the best and make it your own. Who knew there were so many words for diarrhea? Like, the Eskimo have so many words for snow. Whoever came up with the words for diarrhea, he's like the Nanook of feces. Now there's a word for you, feces. I wonder where that comes from. I mean, I know where it comes from. And what about the words mucus and pus? I don't want to know where they come from, but, oh, I know where they come from. Are they like onomatopoeia, you know, words that sound like what they are? I bet you could go to deepest, darkest Africa and walk up to a guy and say, Puss, and he would know exactly what you were talking about. Then he would kill you and eat you. I read somewhere where cannibals consider pus a delicacy. I don't know about mucus. Yeah, that makes sense. So far, this conversation has been like half a Gilmore Girls rant. I know the Gilmore Girls hasn't happened yet. Did I mention I was prescient and can make jokes about things that haven't happened yet? For instance, an iPhone and an iPad go into a bar. The bartender looks at the iPhone and says, Why the long face? Yeah. That's it for now. Next time I will take a look at the scrotum. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll explore or, or discover or... There will be talk of scrotums. Chaotic good. Is scrotums the plural or is it scrotum I? Can you even have more than one scrotum? If I've thought of it, it probably has happened. <laughs>